Hi everyone, and thanks for joining us today for another episode of 3D Printing Thursday. This is Jesse Haworth, 3D Printing Application Engineer with Hawkridge Systems, and with options like painting, dyeing, hydro dipping, and electroplating, there are a lot of ways to post-process HP multi-jet fusion parts. While raw HP parts are absolutely functional, additional post-processing can help take your parts to the next level. So, in today's episode, we'll be taking a very quick look at graphite blasting, which is a post-processing option that can improve the aesthetics and performance of your HP 3D printed parts. The first step to graphite blasting will be to remove any excess powder from your parts like you normally would. Once you've done that, simply load your parts into your graphite blasting station and seal it up. Just like with many processing solutions, graphite blasting can be done with automated hardware to remove the manual factor. The actual media for graphite blasting is a fine powder, so unlike bead blasting, you really don't have to worry about concentrating on one area for too long. As you can see, I'm using a model of a heart scan here, and the graphite media is not deforming or marring the small arteries and veins. This is also a generally quick process, typically needing a minute at most for many medium to large parts, but the longer you blast apart, the darker you can potentially make it. Once your parts are processed, the final step is to wash off any excess graphite from the surface of your geometry. This can be done using any source of water, as you can see, and any loose graphite will wash off very quickly. Gloves are optional when handling parts during washing as graphite isn't harmful to the touch, but it does remove the need to wash excess off your hands afterwards. When the parts are done washing, simply let them dry for a bit and they will be good to go. As I just mentioned, you can definitely repeat the blasting process at this point if you want the parts to be darker or more uniform. And as you can tell from the heart example here, graphite is great for the surface finish of a part and it can definitely make recessed features visually pop a bit more. It does also smoothen the surface of 3D printed parts, which in turn decreases friction. And that can be great for things like the threads of these small example pieces or any other assembly that moves. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for joining us for this short overview of one of many options for post-processing HP multi-jet fusion parts. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and keep an eye out for our future 3D printing content. Have a great day, everyone.